All right, everybody. I am on fire with the updates. Here's another one. Uh, I've been busy down here today. Uh, I'm not kidding when I say I'm hit or miss. I either am dumping a lot of videos out or I kind of pull away and don't do any for a while. And I've been on an upswing. I've been doing a lot down here. So here we go. Try to keep up. This is where my old nano tank used to sit. It was filthy and disgusting, and I got that all completely stripped out and removed and I actually brought my nano native tank over and set it in its place. Um, I obviously also got this all stripped out and cleaned out. I got the plants cut back. Um, everything is just looking fantastic in here and I actually have uh, LED over it that is more appropriate than the light I had on it where it was sitting. I also got my snail tank cleaned out. Uh, I shot a video earlier where I was showing you some planaria in there and showing you just how disgusting and filthy my snail tank had gotten to be well that's what my snail tank looks like now so I'm actually looking forward to watching this one uh, grow in and turn into something pretty it's not gonna have anything in there except snails and possibly some shrimp uh, I might put a back on it so you're not looking straight through at the uh, wood paneling on the wall there um, but regardless it is a huge improvement for what was sitting there a couple of hours ago uh, so is this believe me still have not gotten around to doing this one that is on the list for today um, These I guess I can spill the beans now um, They're really super skittish. I have talked about how I'm going to be phasing my angel fish out and I'm going to be Phasing new fish in and these are what I'm going to be phasing in these are silver dollars and these are in quarantine right now I'm going to grow them out a little bit and as I phase the angels out these are going to get phased in and I'm going to switch that over to being a silver dollar tank um, with a lot of smaller uh, schooling fish like neons and things like that. So it's going to be a very different feel. I'm going to put a lot more plants in it, get it nice and heavily planted for these guys. Uh, so the angelfish tank is going to go through uh, quite a bit of changes here really soon. Almost tonight, maybe, I hope. I keep talking about it. Um, nothing really going on with my native tank. I'm really, really thinking about breaking this down altogether and just... It's a 40 gallon tank. I can do a lot of neat stuff with a 40 gallon tank rather than have a bunch of stupid sunfish looking at me. Um, so I might shoot a final video of this or two, something like that. I take a bunch of pics and post them on my Google Plus page. I uh, might shoot some video about the uh, central stone roller. Uh, somebody did identify me. Uh, I think it was Native Fish Keepers. I'll go ahead and put a um, link to whoever that was. I'll check out and find out who that was that uh, informed me about that because I appreciate it. Um, but it is a central stone roller um, And thank you all the people who gave me your guesses, but it's unmistakably a central stone roller uh, So that was definitely what it was. So again, don't really know what I'm going to be doing with this um, eh, We'll see This is where my nano native tank was and can you guess what it is now? Now it is just an empty tank, but what it's gonna be is the tank that is going to house that big son of a gun catfish that still needs to come out of my angelfish tank so I realized today once I got that tank all cleaned out and set up and good to go um, I've even augmented the biofiltration so it should be pretty much ready for a fish to go in it and it occurred to me that once I get it in there I'm not in any hurry to get it down to the fish store and you know all I'm in a hurry to do is get it out of this tank if I've got a place to put it you know I can leave it in there for a while so I might just you know grow it out in that tank a little bit see what happens I can at least shoot some video of it before I take it somewhere um, not in any hurry so that kind of takes some stress off of me about when I do this so I was trying to time it so that I could do it just right and get down to the fish store it's an hour drive for me um, this you know having a place to put it really just kind of eases the pressure and I'm really hoping that since I'm all ready to go I've been down here all day I'm just gonna kind of keep right on rolling once I'm done this video and we're going to get started on breaking this tank down. I hope. We'll see. Uh, again, nothing going on in my Garami tank, but it's always worth having a look at because it's just awesome. Love my Garamis, love my Garami tank. Uh, my Striped Raphael, I guess I can mention him. He has taken to sleeping like this all day. He's fine. I know he looks dead, but he's fine. He's just sleeping. He does this every day. Um, that's his spot now. And when I throw food in there, he gets out and he swims around. He munches up on the food and gobbles it up. And then he goes back and he swims right up through there, uh, relaxes, spreads his fins out, and he falls back down. And he, the points on the end of his fins just sort of wedge him in place. And he just chills out and goes to sleep. And that's where he will spend the whole day. 
uh, until I turn the lights out tonight and presumably he cruises around the tank being a nocturnal fish. And there is my great big uh, Chinese algae eater. Somebody mentioned today that he's huge. He's only about 5 inches and they're supposed to get 11 according to what I read. So I don't know if he's huge or not, but that's about a 5 inch Chinese algae eater. Uh, so if you see these sold at the big chain pet stores for a dollar on sale or something like that and you think that's going to be a nice little fish to uh, put in your 10 gallon tank. Um, he got about that big within the first six or eight months that I had him, and he's kind of slowed down. He's not gotten much bigger than that in a little while, but they, they're, they're a beefy fish. You don't want to put that in a 10 or 20 gallon tank, trust me, uh, and they grow fast. And last but not least, there's my ever beautiful 29 gallon miscellaneous with my mated angels, and that's just, you know, always looks beautiful. So there's another update everybody, hope I'm not wearing you out with these, please like, please sub, if you sub now you'll just get these when I do them, uh, that way you won't miss anything because stuff changes fast around here, I always say that, and hopefully by now you're beginning to realize I'm not kidding when I say that. So just go ahead and sub, save yourself the hassle. Thanks again, I'll see you real soon.